Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video on how to properly calibrate your pre-timer because everyone's been asking me lately, okay? So the first thing I'm going to say about this is, uh, I don't even need my 3DS to explain this properly, so hopefully, and I'm going to put this in the description for every video so it's easier to reference, uh, and I don't have to continue doing half-assed explanations. Okay, so, I'm going to open up uh, Sun and Moon RNG tool, or 3DS RNG tool, sorry. The reason I call it that sometimes uh, is because that's what the old tool used to be named before it got kind of combined into this one, and that's what it's still named in my OBS, but, or like a sources uh, thing. Okay, anyway, so let's say you find a Pokemon, and uh, we're doing Necrozma in this hypothetical situation, okay? So then you find a frame you want. You're like, I really want this naive nature frame right here. So you right click and you hit set as target frame. Okay. So once you do that and you recalculate everything, it'll tell you how far away certain frames are from you. Okay. Uh, so like if when you search for it using the stats and all that jazz. So we are going to be taking a look now. So we're we're saying okay. Uh, hold on, let me calculate again. So uh, sorry. So. It's imp don't worry about it. But so we're 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 looking for frame five ninety three, and we're thinking, okay, this is the frame we want. It's these are three frames right in a row, all next to each other. So that's three sixtieths of a second you get. So how do we know which uh, frame is going to be ours, or like how do we know how to adjust the pre-time accordingly? So let's say we are ten frames late. So we're here. It could be any of these three. These are all ten frames late. So we're like, okay, 10 frames late. So what you do is you open up your calculator. Now you're doing it. You're going to do 10 divided by 30. Doesn't, uh, so this also applies if you're 10 frames early. So if instead of the plus 10, you're at minus 10 here, you still do 10 divided by 30 no matter what. The 30 is because the even though the game runs at 60 frames per second, um, the frames only really occur every other second. So you divide it by 30 and you hit enter. So we're at point 0.3. Now, this is where you take a look. So that you could be done here. So if you take a look at um, Necrozma, he has two NPCs here. If you have no NPCs like Tapu Koko, or if you have one NPC like Tapu Fini, you do nothing from here on. Uh, so I'm. Uh, so you can skip this part for if you have no NPCs. If you have no NPCs. All you do from this point on, uh, no NPCs in the area, and it only go by what this program says, okay? Don't go by what you can see on your screen, because sometimes non-rendered uh, NPCs still have the potential to blink. So if you have no NPCs at this point, you open up Eon Timer, so I'm going to hide this. Um, so you go to Eon Timer, and I'm, at, I'm presuming we're starting from 3500 here, but it doesn't matter. So we're at 0.333. So it's technically, uh, we would have to, if we were uh, late, so if we were at the plus 10, hey buddy, uh, if we are plus 10, like I said before, what you want to be doing is subtracting. If you are plus any number of frames, you subtract it. Um, if you are minus frames, so if we are at minus 10 frames, you add it. That is how this works. So this 3, we were calculating from plus 10, we're going to subtract this from our pre-timer. So that means we're going to be, uh, so the 3500 is actually just 3.500. So the way this is going to work is you would do 3.500, you technically don't need to put the zeros there, but 3.500 minus 0.333, then you hit enter. And now you have 3.176, so you type 3167 3, into Eon Timer, and that's your new thing. Uh, if you were early you would be uh, adding so you do 3.500 plus 0.333 equals and there you go now it would be 3.8 uh, so it'd be 3833 3 would be your new pre-timer that's how that works however if you have NPCs you divide by the number of NPCs so we did uh, before we did 10 divided by 30 right so this is what we had but there's, for Necrozma specifically, if you take a look at him, there's two NPCs. 
So you take this number here, if you have NPCs, and you divide by the number of NPCs. So we're going to divide by 2. Now you have 1.6 repeating. Um, so what we do is now, or 0.16 repeating, sorry. Uh, so now what we do is the same exact process we did before. So we're going to take, so this would be 0.167. So we're going to do, so we would do uh, 350. 100 minus 0.167. Now this is our new pre-timer. You'd get rid of the decimal. You don't even round up. Um, and that's why, uh, so then if you were adding, you do the same exact thing. So you would do 3.500 plus 0.167. Uh, and there you go, it's the same thing. So that's how you calibrate your pre-timer. I hope this is helpful to everybody. I'm going to link this in all my descriptions. I'll update that eventually. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.